Caitlin might have pushed for that, at least, until she met the lad, when her answer would have rapidly switched to a hell, no. After that, she might look to other Riverlord families, quite possibly the Blackwoods. They worship the old gods, have married into the Starks before, and have several sons who would have been some years older than Arya, but still might have suited. Ned notably had not thought much about betrothals for his eldest children, let alone Arya, but I tend to think he would have wanted as many of his children as possible kept close. That would probably point to his making a northern match for Arya as the likeliest possibility. However, given the fondness House Dane seems to still have for him and Arya's notably active, vibrant personality, he might have eventually considered reaching out to see whether young Edric Dane would be interested in meeting his daughter and seeing how they hit it off. Hello everyone, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any new updates on your favorite TV series. Robert was always a sickly child and that fact was quite well known across Westeros. Had Jonathan lived to see Robert become an adult, he would not match his son with the daughter of Lord Stark, and Stark wouldn't agree to such a match. Tywin proposed a match between Lysa and Tyrion as a compromise to Lord Tully's initial proposal of marrying Lysa to Jaime. Tully refused, citing Tyrion's physical deformities. Even though Robert is the heir to the Vale, in the books, there is a strapping young man just behind him in the line of succession, Harold Harry Harding. Robert was so sickly and mentally ill that people in the Vale expected him to die before becoming an adult, something that Lisa was aware of and it fed her paranoia. Any lord wanting to marry into the Arends would simply wait and watch as both Robert and Harry grew older. Robert's mental problems would make him unfit to rule and Lord John would place the Vale's well-being before his sons. This is the primary reason why Lisa agreed to poison her husband, because Tywin Lannister had offered to foster Robert and King Robert was about to agree to the proposal. Robert's grief at John's death gave Lisa the opportunity to flee King's Landing with her son. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.